Today, let's talk about everything to know about that long stringy poop of your fish. In this video, we'll run through number one, is it normal? Number two, how to identify whether it's normal, constipation, or internal parasite. Number three, causes and solutions for constipation. Number four, causes and solutions for internal parasite. Number one, is it normal? Well, it's very common issue amongst aquarium hobbyists, especially amongst patties and goldfish owner. We say that most of the time it's constipated and it's a symptom that can be reduced. It is also not a very big issue. There are many aquarists who have had fish with long poops throughout the fish entire lifespan, and it's just not very pleasant to look, but there's nothing that affects the fish too significantly. However, when the poop is white in color, that's when it is very dangerous. In these cases, it is likely a case of internal parasite. Most of the time, your fish will have accompanying symptoms like fatigue, not eating, lesser movement, can't swim straight, drop sea, and so on. A sick fish is also very unresponsive. Otherwise, if your fish is still actively moving and actively respond to you like it swims towards or away from you when you likely tap the aquarium glass, We'll say that it's likely just a case of constipation. Next, let's talk about causes and solutions for constipation. There are a few causes for constipation. Number one, you overfed your fish. Number two, low pellets quality. And number three, there's a lack of fiber. So the solutions are equally very simple. Number one, you can fast your fish for a day or two. Number two, check the pellets expiry date and ensure it's still good or try to test out another pellet. Number three, if your fish is omnivore, you can feed it with more plant-based diet like blanched vegetables. Otherwise, you can feed them with brine shrimp which is known as a natural laxatives. This should help reduce the stringy poop symptoms. If you have done all the above and your fish poop is still long and stringy, we recommend you to check the water parameter as stress can also cause constipation. Alternatively, if your fish is more aggressive, mirror training is another way to resolve this issue. Video explaining more about mirror training is in the description below. On the other end, internal parasite is caused by fish accidentally feeding on live food with parasite. Therefore, be very careful where you get your live food from. If you have a microscope, most of the time you can see some oblong shaped parasite. The first thing we'll do is to put the fish to a quarantine tank to ensure that it's not passing the parasite on to other fish. If it is a fish I've read for a while, which means it didn't contract the parasite beforehand, I will swap away any new live food that I've added to the diet. Next, the treatment. Either you treat them with levamisole by putting 0.5 gram of 85% levamisole into a small cup of water once a week for a minimum of 3 weeks, then distribute it evenly throughout the water of the separate tank. Or you could use shelf-based product like Paracleans or API General Cure. In those cases, follow the instructions on the product label. You also want to ensure that those products state that it kills parasite. Also, for both of the treatment method above, you need to repeat the treatment a few times because they don't typically work on the eggs of the parasite. So, it may take a few times for it to be completely cleared out. And that's it for this video. If you find this video to be helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.